Hello and welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Harry Chapman. <laughs> Chap has arrived with much expectation having done the business at League One level previously with Barnsley and Sheffield United. Arriving on a season loan, it looked like a win-win situation for both player and Rovers. Harry, who featured all in all 12 times for Rovers, did not disappoint. He arrived with pace, flair and an eye for a pass and even an eye for a goal. He was a creative wonder. Used by Mowbray as a super sub in most of his appearances and when called upon to start, he continued to impress. It seemed like a perfect match, Chapman and Rovers. However, the marriage was cut short as an injury to Chappers in November had him out on the physio table for a few months, uh, only for his return in March with the under-23s to end abruptly after only 10 minutes of football. It may have only lasted a few months in a blue and white shirt, but those moments were magical. Talks murmur of a possible return to Ewood Park in 2018-2019. However, if I was Mowbray, I would look at only an initial loan spell with a permanent switch if he can last the season without any major injury. Overall grade, a B+. So let's take a look now at Harry Chapman's performance this season uh, for Blackburn Rovers and uh, whoever else he may have played for this season. If, I'm not sure if he got any game time for... Um, Middlesbrough, it doesn't look like it, but anyway, he was involved in 25 matches for Rovers this season, one goal, creating three assists, he actually played only 26% of all possible game time uh, this season for, uh, if he was fit and available, um, he was substituted on 14 times and off twice, and he actually got three yellow cards in those 25 matches. As for League One only, uh, Chapman was involved in 12 matches, uh, he played in six wins, three draws and three defeats, scoring one goal in the process. All in all, he uh, chalked up 313 League One minutes for Blackburn Rovers. His last five fixtures for Rovers looked like this. Two draws, two wins, and a defeat. Uh, that defeat was up against Oldham uh, all the way back in October. He's actually gone three games without a loss at the moment. Uh, two games with... Uh, he's drawn two at the previous three games. Lost one out of the previous seven. He's actually gone five games without scoring a goal. Uh, however, that one goal he did score equals to about 8% of all games that he's played in. He was involved in a three-game winning streak with Rovers, two games without a win, and he was also on a one-game losing streak, which is not really a streak. Uh, scored one game on the bounce, and he went six games without scoring a goal. So his goal pretty much came in bang in the middle of his time uh, of his, or his appearances for Blackburn Rovers this season. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.